guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how to color grade beauty images in Lightroom. Now after my last tutorial in Lightroom I did have a few requests for doing color grading as well and also color grading darker skin tones. So I will be doing a separate Lightroom tutorial on those very soon but for this tutorial I'm going to be continuing on with color grading in general on beauty portraits in Lightroom. So I have done a few of these tutorials before in Photoshop but I do feel with Lightroom there is quite a different process to doing them so I thought that this might be an interesting tutorial for those of you who tend to use Lightroom a little bit more so than Photoshop to color grade your images. I hope my audio is going to be a little bit better today. I am in a van this time so hopefully the sound is just going to be a little bit less echoey and it's just going to be a little bit better overall but we'll see how we go with it. I'm going to jump straight into the tutorial today and I'm going to show you guys my process for doing color grading in Lightroom. I only tend to use a few different panels in Lightroom for color grading and I'm going to go through them very shortly in terms of what I usually do. I will say though the first thing I do tend to fix in terms of color grading is the skin tone. So in my last video that I did put up if you haven't seen it already it's all about color grading skin tones in Lightroom so definitely go and check that out if you haven't already that's going to explain how I do some of the bases I'm just going to skim over them in this tutorial because I really have already gone over them in depth so first off I'm going to go down to the hue saturation and luminance panel and usually I like to get the skin tone right first off because I think that sort of sets the tone for the whole image as well and it gives you a better guidance in terms of other color grading that you're going to be doing and how far you can kind of push the color sliders and things like that. So I'm going to click on the saturation tab just over here and I'm firstly going to move down the orange slider just a little bit just until the saturation of the skin just goes down a little bit more. Uh, orange is usually what will pull out most in the skin tone so I'm just going to bring that down a little bit to about say 12 and you can see that's made a difference with the saturation of the skin tone it was looking a little bit orange so we're just kind of bringing that down then I'm going to go into the luminance tab over here and then I'm going to bring the orange down a little bit more and it's just going to deepen the skin tone a little bit more but kind of it almost gives a little bit more texture and brings back that texture a bit more and crispens up the highlight so I really like this process of doing this in Lightroom it's kind of like a version of using black and white in Photoshop to do so in the same sort of thing and I have shown you guys how to do that a few times in previous tutorials and I do think it helps give those nice highlights and and crisper skin tone overall so I'm going to move that down to around about let's say 28 and I'm going to show you a quick before and after so that is the before without tweaking the skin tone and that is the after. So at the moment it's looking quite dull but we are going to fix that with the rest of the color grading that I'm going to be working on. So that was basically just a very quick fix for the skin tone but we are going to continue working on that later. So I'm going to scroll up now and start working on the highlights of the image and just brightening it up overall. So I'm going to move the highlights tab just over a little bit more. I like to use this tab quite a bit because I think it helps create a little bit of contrast in the image. And I'm also going to move the exposure up just a little bit, not too far, to just about there, I think. And then I'm going to go down and we're also going to work on clarity. Now clarity kind of gives it a little bit more edge to the photograph and helps certain features stand out a little bit more. So if we move it up and down, you can see what I mean. It sort of just kind of deepens certain parts of the image kind of sharpens it up a little bit in a sense. So I'm going to move that up just a little bit. So this isn't really too much to do with the color grading but it's generally my process for Lightroom anyway and I usually do a lot of my Lightroom processes at once. When I first open them up in Lightroom all of my raw photographs I will start doing the color grading before I actually start doing the skin editing so I generally like to do it this way because it allows me to work on the raw photograph first of all and then import the image into Photoshop so I can do the rest of my skin retouching later. Now we're going to move on to more of the color grading overall so I'm going to scroll down to the split toning panel. Now I feel like this is a really important panel for when I am color grading beauty portraits. I don't tend to go too over the top when I am color grading beauty portraits because I feel like the majority of the image a lot of the time is skin tone and I think in a lot of different ways we have to try and keep the skin tone looking 
quite natural as well so it's sort of hard to push too many colors either way uh, and to have anything that's too harsh or too out there uh, depending on what you're going for obviously but I usually like to keep it quite subtle so usually split toning is something that I like to work with quite a lot because it allows you to basically put colors in the highlights and colors in the shadows and like I said makes it pretty subtle overall so I'm gonna go to the shadows first and all we're gonna do is just gonna click on this box and I'm going to run the color dropper just over some colors until I find the one that I really like. And I'm just going to keep sort of moving it down. I keep it pretty close to this gray area down the bottom here because that means it'll have less saturation in the coloring. And that's kind of what we want at this stage. We don't want it to look too saturated or too vibrant. So I kind of like that coloring just there. So it's kind of like a deep purpley pink color that we've put into the shadows of the image. And that's just kind of given it a nice base. Now I'm gonna start off with that and I'm gonna to go to the highlights box now and click on this. And this is gonna add colors into the highlights of the image. So I usually like to sort of stick to kind of a warmer color for this. Obviously, like I said, depending on what you're going for, depending on what style of image you're trying to create, but if I was trying to create kind of a warm looking image, you just kind of have to be very careful of not pushing it too far and making it too saturated. So I'm going to keep the saturation at about four there. And I actually quite like how that looks. I am going to go to the balance though, and this is kind of a good experimental slider that you can use to see if you like it pushed a little bit further either way with the yellows or with the pinks that I've just picked in the shadows. So at the moment, I think somewhere in the middle is quite good. So I'm gonna leave it at zero for now. And then I'm going to go back up to saturation. And I'm gonna move that orange slider just down a little bit more. Just to take out any main parts of the saturation and also just the red just to experiment what that would look like if I just took a little bit out of it maybe about to there and then I'm going to scroll up this time to the tone curve this is the other box I would use mainly for any color grading in Lightroom and you can just click on the RGB here and go down to the red channel, the green channel or the blue channel. And this works very similar to how curves would in Photoshop as well. So I'm gonna to go to, to start off with maybe the green channel. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more green into the image, Ooh, just slightly, not too heavy there. And you can click on this little adjust point curve and you can sort of drag the curves a little bit better. Gonna move that down just a bit more and then this time I'm going to go to the blue channel so I'm just sort of playing around with colors here at the moment seeing what kind of works best and I'm upping the blue just a little bit there and just experimenting a little bit there and you can also play around with some of the colors by going to the hue tab just under the HSL box. And you can move around, a lot of the time the red, orange and yellow sliders tend to move around the colors most in the image if you're working with beauty portraits because like I said, most of the areas do contain some sort of skin tone. So you can kind of move them around to see what sort of works best with skin tones. I'm just gonna move that up a little bit see what this kind of looks like and leave that where it is it's kind of hard sometimes doing tutorials on color grading in Photoshop and Lightroom because a lot of the time you are sort of experimenting with colors I think for the most part if you've been using it for a long time you do tend to know what is going to 
create what effect as a base but you do tend to contradict yourself a little bit with the sliders that you end up using so I do apologize if any of this is a little bit confusing for people it's not like I have much rhyme or reason to what I'm doing with the sliders in particular when it comes to color grading I am just kind of experimenting a little bit just to see what is going to look better as well but I want to show you guys my process for doing it and Basically the, the sliders and the adjustment tabs that I do use in Lightroom and the ones that I don't really use as much, I won't include. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that color grading so far. I am gonna go up to Vibrance though and just play around with that a little bit. I might just bring that down a bit to minus three at this stage. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so that is my general process for doing color grading in Lightroom. And as I said, it is quite easy. It's quite simple. I don't have a lot of adjustments that I do make within Lightroom if I'm color grading beauty portraits. Even within Photoshop, it really depends on the image that I'm working on. But a lot of the time I like to keep my colorings quite simple due to there being so much of the skin tone in the image. So I wanted to show you guys what tabs I generally use in Lightroom today. And I hope that that's kind of giving you guys a little bit of help in that section of Lightroom and I really hope that you have learned something from today's tutorial. I am going to give you guys a before and after now just to show you what the end result now looks like compared to what the original photo looks like. So the quick before and after, this is the before image and this is the after image. So I haven't done any skin retouching on this. As I said, I would usually do the color grading first in Lightroom if I was going to color grade in Lightroom and then I would import it into Photoshop and do the skin retouching. So I'll do another quick before and after for you guys again. Before and after. So I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial today and I hope it wasn't too confusing for you. I did try and keep it quite simple. Uh, that's the one thing that I do love about Lightroom a lot of the time is that it is quite simple in terms of your adjustments and it makes it quite easy in terms of workflow as well. Sometimes Photoshop can be a little bit more complicated than that, but I do understand that there are people that use Lightroom out there quite often and a lot of the time that is their tool of choice. So I do wanna make sure I'm putting out some tutorials for Lightroom as well for what I do in those situations too. And if you guys haven't seen my new presets, I'll once again just mention them at the end of this video. They're all available on my website, kayleejune.com slash shop. And I've actually got a couple of sets for Lightroom specifically. And these presets are more of a skin color grading base. And also there's another set for clean toning presets overall. So if you're interested in purchasing those, follow the link just down below in the description box and you can have a look and see some before and afters on the site. So thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please click subscribe and also the notification bell to make sure you can see all of my videos coming out in future weeks. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.